hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele as you can hear from my voice i'm super duper excited because i'm sharing this drink medan made out of corn which originates from the Ga tribe of ghana as a child i couldn't wait for an occasion because everybody gathers together families come from all over ghana to be together and we'll make this drink for like baby naming ceremonies weddings and unfortunately funerals but it was a fun time to be together let's get started so i have this corn that my big cc pretty nadu bought for me from amazon it is not the typical corn that we use but i couldn't find corn anywhere so i had to make do with this because after all i get to show you all the germination process which is the base of this drink it is a corn drink but we first have to germinate these corn yes so so i'm just going to give it a quick wash and soak it in nice clean water so this is three days later i've lined a plate with this extra pieces of cabinet liners that i had lying around because i want to create a cozy environment for my corn and this is our corn three days later you can see fermentation is beginning with the bubbles you see so i poured out some of the water and now i'm just going to go ahead and spread it out here growing up i remember my grandma spreading this over the abelikotuku which is the corn sack so i thought this will work perfectly why not <laughs> i also have a spray bottle with water which i'll be using to water it every morning and every evening cover it with a nice towel to give it a dark and cozy environment for germination so once that is done we will leave it to do its thing <laughs> it is the next day and as you can see germination have already started i don't know if you are able to see it but some of them have started germinating already just look at this one yeah so i'm just going to go right ahead and water it and cover it back up and put it on top of my refrigerator which is where i have been keeping it because it is nice warm and cozy over there so i do this every day until i have enough germination then we will move on to drying it so it is the final day and this is what we have as you can see there is a lot of germination so i'm going to transfer it onto this tray and the best place for you to keep this is out in the sun because you want this to dry completely and the drier this becomes the darker young medan will be because the germinated parts or the sprouts that you see are going to brown and the more it browns the darker young medan will be if it doesn't brown enough this uh, once the young medan is cooked it'll be on the lighter side but if it browns it will begin to be brown already so you will be almost there it is nice and dry and i kept it inside so it took about two weeks for it to dry to this point as you can see the sprouts are now nice and brown so i'm just going to go ahead and transfer it into a blender crush it up beautifully and then we will be ready to make our medan Ta-da! Were you worried that I did not have enough corn? Well, worry no more. A big shout out to all my aunties, grandma, and everybody that contributed to me bringing this recipe to you all finally. My aunties made this for me, but as you can see, it was already germinated. So I needed to get fresh corn or dried corn to show you all the process and i'm so grateful to my big cc for sending me exactly that thank you cc 
Traditionally, we use a pestle and a mortar to pound this because we do not want a smooth consistency. We just want to crush it up partly because we use some of the corn to test to see if it is done. Okay. All right, y'all. Into our pot, everything goes. To that, we'll add enough water to fill the pot up. Then we'll cover it up, bring it to a boil. Once it boils, we'll allow it to boil for a good 20 minutes, lower the heat, and have it simmer until it is ready. Now, as you see your meda beginning to come to a boil, you want to open up your pot because if not, it'll boil over and we do not want that. I want you to notice this foamy bubbles that are on top of our drink right now. It is a lot and it is a whitish color. This will help you know that your meda is ready because when it is, the foams will reduce a lot and the color will then become a brownish color not as white as you see it right now so it is okay to be there it'll help us know when it is done also you can test the corn to see if it is fully cooked it's been boiling for about 15 minutes now so i'm going to go ahead and lower the heat and allow it to simmer down beautifully At this point, I'm going to check on the corn to see if it is fully cooked. We are almost there, so we'll allow it to continue simmering. In a separate pot, I'm going to add some sugar and we will be cooking this sugar until it is almost at its burning point which is it's going to be darker than a regular caramel sauce brownness okay meanwhile i'm going to go right ahead and get the corn out of our drink and as you can see the foamy bubbles are completely brown now this is ready it smells absolutely delicious it brings back so many good memories so with a slotted spatula or spoon i'm just going to go ahead and scoop out the corn now this is optional because originally they go ahead and add everything in with the corn still in it but if you're not gonna eat the corn why flavor it up but feel free to do it the old way it is nothing wrong with that <laughs> Now back to our sugar, it is melting beautifully. So I'm going to just go ahead and stir it up and I'm going to cook this until it reaches its burning point. Cooking it any further will cause your mlasi to burn and it'll be bitter, which will in turn make your mida bitter. And to fix that, you will end up adding too much sugar and we do not want that. As you saw, my meda is already dark because like I said, I dried my corn kernels and the sprouts longer, which caused it to be dark. But if yours is on the lighter side, you may have to let this darken a little bit more, but not burn. My sugar is ready. It is at the burning point. So you want to stop the cooking process by adding in water. I don't know if you could see the smoke coming out. My smoke detector is going crazy. So I need to add my water right now. What the water does is to stop the cooking process, but also it helps your sugar not to crystallize once it begins to cool down so using super cold water will cause your sugar to harden which will make this process longer so I like to use warm water so as you can see it never got hard it just kept bubbling up and lightening up and it is done 
absolutely beautiful just the way i wanted it so now it is time for us to add it into our drink little by little and as you can see my meda is already dark so i won't even need much i just add enough to taste and then it will be ready but if yours is not as dark as mine you may need more which is okay just as long as it's not burnt you are in business we'll now season it with some salt to taste and also sugar because at this point the darkened sugar doesn't really give it sweetness it only gives it flavor give it a good stare taste to see if it is good and we are done Mmm, perfect, just like I remember. At this point, I cleaned out my pot, but I'm going to put the drink back in there and we will keep it overnight. But before then, you have to ensure that there's no water in the pot because that will spoil your drink. So I wipe it out. But growing up, I remember them using some of the drink to rinse out any vessel that they were going to keep it in overnight. So <laughs> I'm going to do just that but don't get rid of this you can pour it into a cup and enjoy it but i just want to follow everything just the way i remember it so now i'm just going to go right ahead and transfer this back into the pot i just wanted to clean it so this will look nice and clean and after pouring it please do not cover it immediately because the steam will create water which will go back in allow it to cool completely and to cover it we use a chiffon cloth or any type of breathable kitchen towel tie it up and leave it overnight for the party tomorrow <laughs> so i'll see y'all tomorrow hello everyone welcome back let's check out how our meda is doing yes so the big reveal Ta-da! <laughs> it is ready so i'm just going to pour it into this pitcher and keep it in my refrigerator and this is always enjoyed with some of our ghana savory or pita chips oh you will not find madame without that stuff it is absolutely delicious and there you have it serve and enjoy thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini uchemi suite maha botu bye y'all